Up next on Model Builder International, 32 Ford. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from ModelBuilderInternational.com. I know the little thing down here says Sci-Fi Annecy, that's our other channel. So if you haven't come over there yet, come over to Sci-Fi Annecy on YouTube and hit the subscribe button there also. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the little notification icon here also. This way you're kept up to date on all of the videos that we have on the channel, mostly from Paul. But I'm jumping back on the channel for a special build that I got going on over here. And this is the 32 Ford three window coupe street rod from Ravel. It's in 125th scale and it could be built in two different ways, one with fenders and one without fenders. I think I'm gonna be going the fender route, but this is going to be a very special build. I don't build cars. I haven't built a car since I'm a kid, but I've had these in the stash for a long time. Me and my son were supposed to do them, but he's so busy with school and making sure he get good grades and stuff like that. And also with hockey, he really hasn't had time to build. So school's more important than building for me. So when he gets to time to build, he'll build. But this was given to me by my friend Bud, who's a, a very good friend of mine. And he's had a rough time for a long time, unfortunately. And I'm gonna be dedicating this build to him because I actually seen on Facebook, he's getting back into building and he's building some sort of train, I think a locomotive or something, which is really cool. And I'm really, really happy to see Bud back on the bench doing his thing because I always liked his builds. He always did a good job and he's a good friend of mine. So this kid, he knows what this kid is and I'm building it for you, Bud. And I'm glad to see you back up into the hobby and hopefully things keep going well for you. So enough of me rambling about that. This is gonna be a straight out of the box build because like I said, I haven't built a car since I'm a kid. So we're just gonna go straight out of the box, have fun with it, get it done and uh, just do something nice for Bud. And when this is all done, hopefully I can package it up and send it off to Bud as a nice little gift. This way he can put it and display it. So let's get over to the bench and start cracking into this kit. So this is the box art on the 32 Ford. It's got a very nice car on here and on the side over here, it has the two different ways you can build it. I'm gonna go with this way, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of chrome parts in there. I don't know if I'm gonna take the chrome off or if I'm gonna leave it on. Most likely I'm gonna take it off and probably go over it with the uh, Molotow chrome pen. I'm not gonna go over what's in the box. There's a bunch of sprues, a bunch of cars. I'm not gonna review this one. We're just gonna start building and having fun with this guy. So I let them soak for a few minutes. The chrome is coming right off without even shaking, but to speed up the process, we're gonna hit it with the ultrasonic cleaner. And we'll open this up. You can see it buzzing all that chrome off of it. Everything's going down to the plastic layer and it didn't even take me five minutes to get this chrome off here. But I'm gonna let it go the full cycle, make sure everything's off, and then we're gonna wash this stuff up under soap and water. Okay, here's all the parts that have been de-chromed. I cleaned them up, letting them dry. This way we can use them up on the car parts that we have to. So I started the engine assembly. I put most of it together because I'm gonna hand paint a lot of this anyhow, so there'll be a lot of masking painting. I gotta get satin for the black. There was a gap back here that I had to fill in with styrene sheet because the pieces didn't match up that well, but we got a lot of this done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime this up and get it ready for paint. So here's the engine all primed up, ready to go. She's gotta dry overnight. The only thing, the intake manifold really didn't fit very well. One side fits perfect. The other side's a little past. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but otherwise it looks pretty good. The engine's gonna be under the hood anyhow so we're not going to see a lot of it unless we pop the hood off so we'll do the best we can but that's it she's all primed ready to go sit overnight and then tomorrow we'll start hand painting the engine so that's it for part one of the 
1932 Ford Coupe build that we're doing for Bud. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't much, but I'm just starting out and I'm going really slow and it's gonna be out of the box build. And don't yell at me for paint choices because I'm just picking what they have on the instruction sheet and going with that. So if you have any questions or comments, just throw them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And don't forget to hit the notification icon and the subscribe button here on Model Builder International's YouTube channel. This way you get updated on all of our videos that we have posted on the channel. So I hope everybody has a great night. Take care and bye-bye.